if the legislature signs on, the governor says Virginia would become the first state in the South to legalize marijuana. The new report estimates that in five years, the cannabis industry could contribute $274 million a year in state taxes and goose Virginia's economy by as much as $1.2 billion a year. The report envisions a kind of tiered tax on marijuana at the retail level. The higher the THC content, the active ingredient, the higher the tax. And it says the tax should be high enough to cover the cost of regulating and ensuring the product is free of adulterants, but not so high that it encourages dealers to keep on selling pot illegally. Advocates say sellers right now are completely unaccountable. They don't pay taxes, they don't check IDs, and they certainly don't uh, label or lab test their products. The Northam administration says the legislature should consider setting aside a certain number of sales and production licenses for social equity to ensure the new industry does not reinforce racial disparities. But it says there are no clear answers on how to deal with people who drive while stoned. Helen Whitty's daughter was killed by a stoned and drunk driver. You know, it happens boom like that and there's no do over. 15 other states have already legalized marijuana, but because it is still a federal crime, the growers and sellers have no place to bank the flood of cash. The report says Virginia should consider giving the industry access to state chartered banks and credit unions. Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.